What's up everybody, it's Sean here, here today to give you guys a review of the Nike Air Max 1 in this crepe hemp colorway. Today's video is brought to you by Hefalux. Hefalux is my all-time favorite sneaker insoles, and they sell ETPU insoles, which really is the same material you'll find inside Adidas Boost. So if you're looking to add some additional comfort inside your shoes, be sure to check out their website, which I've linked down below in the description box. You'll see they sell a variety of different insoles, so depending on the type of insole density and the cushion setup you're looking for, you're going to find there's a suitable insole for anyone. So I've been a paying customer of Hefalux for years now, and I personally find them to be extremely comfortable. So if you guys want to check them out and try a pair for yourself, be sure to use the code BOO, that's B-O-O at checkout, and get 33% off your entire purchase. So this is the Nike Air Max 1 in the crepe hemp colorway, and while it's not an identical retro, let's just say it's a reinterpretation of the originals that released back in 2004. So these I believe released in the US sometime in September, but they finally landed north of the border here in Canada earlier this week. So this shoe retailed for an increased price of 180 US dollars or 235 Canadian dollars, and the official colorway for this shoe is medium brown, mint foam, mushroom, and muslin. And while it shares the same silhouette of your classic Air Max 1, there's a ton of changes that they've incorporated on this shoe to make it really unique and stand on its own. So diving into the details, the upper of the shoe, this is constructed out of a hemp canvas, which is woven in this basket weave style. When you compare this to the originals, the pair from 2004 was crafted out of burlap, which gives it much more of a distinct appearance compared to the 2022 counterpart. Right above this on this urethra area of the shoe, this panel here, I'm not 100% certain what this is made out of, but it almost feels like a textured suede material, which sort of has a bit of a rough texture to it to the touch. Beneath this, wrapping around the toe box and running down the length of the shoe, we have this brown suede which serves as a mud guard. Above this on the quarter panel, we have a light brown colored nubuck, and overlaid on top of this, we have a leather swoosh, which is done in this pale teal sort of tone. And covering the top two eyelets, we have this off-white or sail-colored nubuck, and the eyelets themselves are constructed out of a brown-colored TPU. Next to this, wrapping around the top portion of the ankle collar area, we have more of that canvas material, and then beneath this we have that light brown nubuck, and we have Nike Air embroidered in the center in that same mint color. When you compare the colors on the shoe to the 2004 version, I feel like the contrast on this year's version is much more pronounced, whereas for the 04 version, the difference in color between that burlap and the suede mudguard wasn't nearly as distinct, and the overall shoe seemed a little bit lighter as well. Either way though, turning our attention back to the front, so in terms of laces, these only come with one lace option, and they're just your standard flat style lace in white. Underneath this, we have a tongue constructed out of that same hemp canvas material, and at the very top we have the square tag with Nike Air Max branding. The back of the tongue and the interior of the shoe, this is lined in a light tan color textile, which has a very silky smooth feel to the touch. And then as for the insoles, these come with their standard foam line insole, and we have Nike Air branding stamped on the heel. So the upper of these Air Max 1s sits atop this full length polyurethane foam midsole. The midsole is painted in this off-white or sail color, and we have this window on the heel exposing the Nike air sole unit that's found within the midsole, and in this case, the air unit itself is done in that same mint green or teal sort of tone, matching the color of the swoosh. Finally, turning this pair over to the bottom, so the outsole here, when you compare this to the 2004 version, where they actually use a genuine crepe outsole, for this year's version, because of durability issues, this rubber outsole is more of a simulated or inspired crepe outsole, which definitely makes it more durable than the OGs, but it also makes it not as soft and potentially not as comfortable as well. So that breaks down the look and the construction of these Air Max 1s, and for those wondering about sizing, so I personally found that for the past handful of years, Nike Air Max 1s have fit much more true to size compared to maybe 10 years ago. So historically in the past, I've consistently went up to a 10 and a half, which is a half size up from my true size 10. But in more recent years, I've been able to go true to size with no problems. So in the case for this pair, I got these in a size 10, and I feel like they fit a little bit more snug than most of my typical Air Max ones that I picked up in the past few years. It wasn't snug enough that I'd wanna go up a half size, but if you have really wide feet, you'd probably wanna go up that half size. Maybe it's just an issue of breaking in this material, and maybe it's because this hemp canvas could be a little bit sturdier and thicker compared to the traditional mesh, but this is just based off of my experience straight out of the box. It was definitely noticeably more snug compared to other Air Max ones. But by all means, if you have narrow or normal width feet, you should be perfectly fine sticking true to size for this pair too. Next up in terms of the comfort, so honestly, these felt like any other Air Max ones that I have. 
Like I mentioned earlier, this rubber outsole is just crepe inspired. It's not an actual crepe outsole. So with that said, it feels like any other Air Max one. So it's going to be a little bit more on the flatter and firmer side, but it's still a decently comfortable shoe considering it is using technology from the 1980s. But if you're going into this pair expecting something very soft and very pillowy, then you'll probably be disappointed with how these feel. But if you prefer more of a firmer setup, then you'll probably enjoy these. Finally, in terms of the overall quality and craftsmanship, so first off, material quality, I thought it was decent. I liked how they incorporated this wide variety of materials, including the hemp canvas, which I thought felt pretty nice to the touch. But in terms of the suede's used, this brown suede, it felt a little bit scratchy and a little bit cheap. It definitely wasn't a premium cut of suede, but I thought the nubuck used on the quarter panel and the heel, this felt pretty nice and buttery to the touch, and I was a fan of this. But in terms of the build and the craftsmanship on this pair, so I thought it was pretty inconsistent in terms of pair to pair discrepancies. I had to go through a few different pairs until I found a left foot and a right foot that I was happy with. There were issues ranging from the different size of mud guards, the inconsistent shape on the toe box, and even the stitch job on the heel was a little bit crooked on some of them. So it was definitely not Nike's best work. And that's a little bit disappointing considering we're paying a premium price for this shoe compared to the standard Air Max one. So with all that out of the way now, let me lace these up and I'll show you guys how these look on feet. All in all, so while I wasn't completely in love with the quality of the materials, and the craftsmanship honestly could have been a lot better, what I am a fan of is the overall colorway and the use of the different materials. I think this is just a beautiful looking shoe, and I'm a big big fan of this overall colorway. I like the different shades of cream and tan and brown, and then they're all complemented by this mint colored swoosh, and I think this is one of those shoes that you can either dress up or dress down, and it can work with a wide array of outfits and styles. But because of the high price point, this pair is sitting at a lot of online retailers and stores. So I would not be surprised at all if these were eventually put on sale. So let me know in the comment section down below what you guys think about this Crepe Hemp Nike Air Max 1. What are your overall thoughts on the colorway and the design of this pair? And is this a shoe that you guys picked up? Are you waiting for these potentially to go on sale? Or did you just take an L or are you passing altogether? If you guys like this video, be sure to like, comment, and subscribe to my channel if you haven't yet. You can follow me on Instagram at esco8, follow my Twitter as well at sean.go, and visit my website at seangoca Hopefully you guys enjoyed this review and hopefully it helped you in some way. Thank you for the continued love and support. Without you guys, my channel would be nothing. So until next time, I will catch you guys all in my next review.